Today, I'm going to show you how to rank number one on Google for free using ChatGPT5. This is brand new stuff that most people don't know about yet. I'll walk you through the exact steps I use to find winning keywords, create content that Google loves, and get to the top spot without spending a penny. By the end of this video, you'll have everything you need to dominate your competition and get more traffic than ever before. Look, I'm about to show you something that's gonna change how you think about SEO forever. ChatGPT5 just dropped some new features that make ranking on Google stupid easy. And the best part is completely free. Most people are still doing SEO the old way. They're spending hours on keyword research. They're writing content that nobody reads. They're throwing money at tools they don't need. But I'm gonna show you a better way. I've been testing this method for weeks now and the results are insane. I'm talking about going from page 10 to page one in less than two weeks. Real rankings, real traffic, real results. Here's what we're going to cover today. First, I'll show you how to find keywords that your competition doesn't even know about. Then we'll use ChatGPT5 to create content that Google can't ignore. After that, I'll walk you through the technical stuff that actually matters. And finally, I'll show you how to promote your content without spending a dime. But here's the thing, this only works if you follow every single step. Miss one part and your results will suck, so pay attention. Before you think this is some magic trick, let me be clear. Google still wants helpful content, they still want expertise, they still want content that real people love, but ChatGPT5 can help you create that content faster than ever before. The secret is in how you use it. Most people are using ChatGPT wrong. They're asking it to write entire articles. They're publishing AI content without editing it. They're ignoring what Google actually wants. That's why they fail. I'm gonna show you the right way, the way that works, the way that gets results. Step one is finding the right keyword. This is where most people mess up. They pick keywords that are too hard or too easy. They ignore search intent. They don't understand what people actually want. Here's my exact process. I open chat GPT-5 and I use this prompt. I will give you a keyword. Tell me the search intent, top 10 related queries and five long tail phrases people ask. Then I paste in my target keyword. Let me show you what happens. Let's say I want to rank for email marketing tips. I paste that into chat GPT-5 with my prompt. It comes back with the search intent, which is informational. People want to learn how to do email marketing better. It gives me related queries like email marketing best practices and how to write email subject lines. And it shows me long tail phrases like email marketing tips for small business. This is gold. Most people stop here, but I don't. I take this information and I verify it. I check the search volume. I look at the competition. I make sure this keyword is actually worth targeting. You can use free tools like Google Keyword Planner for this or if you have access to paid tools like Arefs, even better. But the free tools work fine. Now here's where it gets interesting. Once I have my keyword verified, I go back to ChatGPT5. I use another prompt. Make an SEO optimized outline for this keyword. Include H1, H2, H3 headings, word counts per section, suggested internal links, and suggested schema types. ChatGPT5 creates a perfect outline. It knows exactly what sections to include, it knows how long each section should be. It even suggests what schema markup to use. This is stuff that used to take hours to research. But we're not done yet. I take this outline and I paste in the top three ranking pages for my keyword. I ask ChatGPT5 to analyze them and find gaps. What are they missing? What questions aren't they answering? What could we do better? This is how you create content that beats the competition. You don't just match what they're doing, you do it better. I wanna let you know about something special. If you wanna learn more advanced SEO strategies like this, I've created a private community called SEO Elite Circle. It's where I share my latest tests, case studies, and strategies that I don't talk about anywhere else. The link is in the description below. Now let's talk about creating the actual content. This is where ChatGPT5 really shines, but you can't just ask it to write an article and call it a day. That's amateur hour. Here's what I do instead. I take my outline and I work section by section. For each section, I give ChatGPT five specific instructions. I tell it to write for real people. I tell it to include examples. I tell it to answer common questions. Most importantly, I tell it to write like an expert. Google's algorithm looks for something called EEAT. That's experience, expertise, authoritativeness, and trustworthiness. Your content needs to show all four. Here's a specific prompt I use. Write this section as if you're an expert with 10 years of experience, include specific examples and data, write in a conversational tone that's easy to understand. The content that comes out is incredible. It's not generic AI fluff. It's detailed, helpful, and actually useful. But I don't publish it as is. I always edit it, 
I add my own examples, I fact check everything, I make it better. This is crucial. Google can detect low quality AI content. They've said so publicly, but high quality AI content that's been edited and improved, that's different. That's what ranks. Next comes the technical stuff. Most people ignore this part, big mistake. Technical SEO is what separates the pros from the amateurs. First, I create optimized title tags and meta descriptions. I go back to chat GPT-5 with this prompt. Create five title tag variations, five meta descriptions, and JSON LD effect and how to schema for this page. Keep titles under 60 characters and meta under 155 characters. It gives me multiple options to choose from. I pick the best ones and customize them further. The schema markup is perfect. It helps Google understand exactly what my content is about. Then I focus on page speed. This is huge. Google uses page speed as a ranking factor. Most websites are slow. If yours is fast, you have an advantage. I compress all images. I use lazy loading. I set up a CDN if needed. These are simple fixes that make a big difference. Mobile optimization is just as important. More than half of all searches happen on mobile. If your site doesn't work well on phones, you won't rank. I test every page on mobile before publishing. Internal linking is another secret weapon. I link to other relevant pages on my site. This helps Google understand my site structure. It also keeps visitors on my site longer. But here's the thing that most people miss. Content creation is only half the battle. The other half is promotion. You can have the best content in the world, but if nobody knows about it, it won't rank. I have a simple promotion strategy that works every time. First, I share my content on social media, Twitter, LinkedIn, wherever my audience hangs out. I don't just post a link. I create a thread or a post that adds value. Then I reach out to other websites in my niche. I find sites that have linked to similar content. I send them a personal email explaining why my content would be valuable to their audience. This gets me high quality backlinks. I also repurpose my content. I turn blog posts into videos. I create shorter versions for social media. I extract key points for Twitter threads. One piece of content becomes five or six pieces. Forums and communities are gold mines for promotion. I find relevant discussions on Reddit, Quora, and niche forums. I contribute to the conversation and share my content when it's helpful. This drives targeted traffic. Let me show you a real example. I created a piece of content about link building strategies using this exact process. Within three weeks, it was ranking on page one for multiple keywords. It's gotten over 50,000 views and generated dozens of leads for my agency. The key was following the process, research with chat GPT-5, create optimized content, handle the technical SEO, promote strategically, every step matters. Now I need to address something important. There are right ways and wrong ways to use AI for SEO. The wrong way gets you penalized. The right way gets you ranked. The wrong way is publishing AI content without editing it. Google can detect this. They've gotten really good at it. If you just copy and paste from chat GPT, you'll get hit. The right way is using AI as a research and drafting tool. Let it help you find keywords, let it create outlines, let it draft sections, but always edit, improve, and add your own expertise. Always cite your sources, always fact check everything, always add unique value. This builds trust with Google and with your readers. Here's another mistake I see constantly. People publish their content and then forget about it. They think the work is done. It's not. You need to track your results. Use Google Search Console to see how your pages are performing. Check your rankings with free tools like Google Search Results. Monitor your traffic in Google Analytics. If something isn't working, figure out why. Maybe your content isn't comprehensive enough. Maybe your technical SEO needs work. Maybe you need more backlinks. Use the data to improve. SEO is not a one-time thing. It's an ongoing process. The websites that rank consistently are the ones that keep optimizing, keep improving, keep testing. Let me share some advanced tips that most people don't know about. First, optimize for AI search engines too. ChatGPT and other AI tools are becoming search engines. They pull information from websites to answer questions. If you want your content to show up in AI answers, you need to structure it properly. Use clear headings, answer questions directly, include FAQ sections, add schema markup. Another advanced tip is focusing on search intent matching. Google doesn't just look at keywords anymore. They look at intent. What is the person really trying to accomplish? If someone searches for best email marketing software, they want a comparison. If they search for how to set up email marketing, they want a tutorial. Match your content to the intent and you'll rank higher. User experience signals are becoming more important too. Things like time on page, bounce rate, and click-through rate matter. Create content that people actually want to read. Make it engaging, make it useful. One more thing, don't put all your eggs in one basket. SEO is great, but it shouldn't be your only traffic source. Build an email list, create social media accounts, diversify your traffic sources. 
Here's what I want you to do right now. Pick one keyword you wanna rank for, something specific to your business or niche. Follow the exact process I laid out in this video. Use ChatGPT5 to research the keyword and create an outline. Write the content section by section. Optimize it technically, promote it strategically, track your results, do this consistently, and you'll see results, I guarantee it. If you wanna learn more advanced strategies like this, I've created SEO Elite Circle. It's a private community where I share my latest tests, case studies, and strategies. You'll get access to my exact templates, prompts, and checklists. The link is in the description below. I also offer free SEO strategy sessions where we can talk about your specific situation. The link for that is in the comments and description too. Before you go, make sure to comment below with the keyword you're going to target. I read every single comment and I'll give you feedback if you need it. And if this video helped you, smash that subscribe button. I'm constantly testing new SEO strategies and AI tools. You don't want to miss the latest updates.